Welcome back. In the previous steps, we created simple methods to find, to delete, and do different stuff with your person. Now, in this step, we'll start with creating an insert method, and then we would move on to an update method as well. So let's get started with the insert method. It's not going to be delete by ID. It would be insert. The input to this method is going to be the person object. I would want to insert a person. And over here, query I would need to execute is going to be the same query that we used in the data.sql, except that the values will be a little different. You need to set the values that you would want to use. So I need to use this. So I'll copy it in. Instead of the values, I would need to pass in question mark. I'll remove the semicolon and then you have your query ready. So this is the query we would want to fire. One of the things is when we write the queries, it's better to use all small. So insert into person, I would say ID, name, location, birth underscore date. Explicitly providing the columns is very good because then you are not depending on which order the columns are present in the database. And if I press enter, I can add this stuff down here. So values and so on. And now I can pass the values in, right? So it's person dot get ID first. The second parameter, person dot get name. The third parameter, person dot get location. The fourth parameter, person dot get birth date. Let's format it a little bit better so that I can see the queries here. So insert, that's the query that we are firing in. And these are the different elements that we are passing in. Cool, right? So we are creating a simple insert query. We are setting the values to each of the question marks. So in the order, ID, name, location, and birth date. One of the things is in our database, we defined birth date as a timestamp. So we need to create a timestamp here as well. So name, new, timestamp. And to the constructor of the timestamp, I'm passing in the get birth date. Let's import timestamp in first. So I would want to use the import timestamp from java.sql. And over here, the timestamp accepts a long. So I'll say get time and save it up. So what we did now is instead of person.get birth date, we are creating a timestamp and passing it in. That's all we need to do to be able to insert a row into our database. And the last one we wanted to do is to be able to update. So we would want to update the details of a person. So we would want to say update, the query would look a little different, right? So update person, the values would be set. We don't want to update the ID, ID is the primary key. So the only things which would be updated would be name. Name is equal to question mark. The next thing which we want to update is the location is equal to question mark. And we would want to be able to update the birth underscore date is equal to question mark. And we would want to be able to say where. So I would press enter here. So set is done. And next, what we can do is to write the where part of the query. So I'm saying update person, set the values where ID is equal to question mark. Make sure that you have spaces at the end. So space here, space here, and the space here is not really important. So make sure that you have spaces so that the query is correct. So I would actually sometimes actually even put queries at start. This is an extra space which is not really needed, but it, this ensures that we are safe. So update person set name is equal to question mark, location is equal to question mark, birth date is equal to question mark, where ID is equal to question mark. The first question mark maps to name. So we need to change the order of the parameters. ID is no longer the first one. Get name is the first one. Get location is the second one. Next is the timestamp. And the last one is the ID, person dot get ID. Cool, isn't it? So now we have the methods to insert and update a person. Let's make use of these methods right now. So let's go here and run them in. So I would try and insert a new person. So I would say logger.info as the same thing, inserting, I would give him an ID of 10,004. 
when I look at the data dot SQL, what are the values I have? 10,003 is the last one. So I'll say 10,004. So I'll say DAO dot, what do we want to do? Insert, insert a person. So I'll say new person and I can set the values in, right? So the ID is 10,004. The second parameter, if I remember it right, is the name. Let's say the name is Tara and we would want to be able to give a location and let's say it's Berlin and now I would also need to be able to pass a time. So I'll just say new date for now. Java.util, organize imports, that's it. I'll just organize the code a little bit by moving this a little down. We are now inserting a new row at 10,004 and also let's update one of these as well. So let's copy this and I would say updating, let's update 10,003. The values which we have inserted in, what did we have, data dot SQL. I would say the name, I'll, so 10,003, these are the values which are present, right? By default, these are the values which are present. So let's take them. What I want to do is update. 10,003 is what I would want to update. Be careful with the IDs because that would be exactly what you would be updating. I don't want to change the name. I'll leave it as Peter. And let's say the Peter shifted from Amsterdam, let's say to Utrecht. And I'll leave his birth date as sister. So we are basically doing an update of 10,003. We are shifting him to Utrecht and we are inserting a new row for Tara in Berlin. Let's start the application now. You can see that deleting, number of rows deleted is one, inserting 1004, it returned one row updated, and even updating 10,003 returned one row updated. That's cool, because we were expecting only one row to be updated for each of these queries, so that's cool. Now let's go to the database and check the data which is present in there. Let's reconnect to the H2 console. Continue, please. Connect, and let's go to person, and run. So if you see the person here, what data does it have? It has three rows. We have the last row which is inserted in. We deleted 10,002, so that's not here. 10,004, Tara Berlin is properly inserted in. And the other thing you can see is Peter is now shifted to Utrecht. He's no longer in Amsterdam. The update also worked. What we have done in the last few steps is we have defined methods in our person JDBC DAO to be able to retrieve values, update values, delete values. Whenever we are using JDBC, it's very simple, right? You just write the query which you'd want to write. So the complexity is in writing the query. Once you have the query ready, then all that you need to do is pass in the appropriate parameters and that's all. And that's all there is. Once you write the query, then you can set the parameters in and then execute them. I'll recommend for you to try with a different query. So try and write different queries, try and execute those things through the DAO and try and call them from the demo application class and see how you'd be able to do different things with it. Until the next step, bye-bye.